side. You see this imaginary line? Boy, you got bossy since you got older. Welcome everyone to the Village of Northfield Regular Council Meeting of January 8th, 2020. Through our rest of the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, according to our charter, we need to appoint a president of council. At this time? I'd like to appoint. Oh, I've actually, we need your roll call first. I'm sorry. Roll call? Mayor Nihas? Here. Mr. Magistrelli? Here. Mr. Zerf? Here. Ms. Dunzalski? Here. Mr. Hips? Here. Ms. Snowak? Here. Mr. Votus? Here. No, Votus. Oh. Votus. I'm so sorry. I've been called a lot of words. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. Bryan? Here. Mr. Rozowski? Here. Chief Zolgas? Here. Captain Zemek? Here. And of course, I am here. Okay, now at this time, according to our charter, we need to elect a president of council for 2020. Oh, I, I, I saw lights, so that's why I'm just waiting. Sorry. I'd like to um, recommend that we go with Nick Mitch. Oh. Second. Motion by Ms. Stemsowski to nominate Mr. Magistrelli as President Pro Tem of Council for 2020. The motion was seconded by Mr. Voitish. Um, is there any discussion or comments or other nominations? Okay, hearing none. All in favor of the motion? Yes. yes. All opposed? Okay. Congratulations, Mr. Magistrelli. Mr. Council President. Uh, again, thank you, Council. Um, it means a lot that uh, a couple years in a row now you've trusted me with uh, the position, and I hope I don't let you down in 2020. Or, and uh, we have a lot going on. And there's a lot in the future. Let's keep going where we're moving, and we're moving forward. Thank you. Can I get the approval of the minutes of December 23rd, 2019, please? So moved. Second. Motion. Um, to approve the December 23rd, two, 2019 Council Meeting Minutes uh, was made by Ms. Noack, seconded by Mr. Hips. Any questions, comments, amendments? Hearing none, all in favor of approval? Yes. yes. All opposed? Abstain. Um, minutes are approved with Mr. Wojtysz abstaining. At this time, is there anyone in the audience that would like to either address myself or Council or these department heads at this time. Okay, moving on. Uh, the mayor at this time would like to report that I know that all the department heads have been working on their budgets. Um, I know that uh, Jennifer has been working on closing out the year and uh, she's almost there. And uh, she's going to be out of town next week, uh, which will leave uh, Shannon in charge of the department next uh, week. Um, but we're moving forward. And uh, thank you, Jennifer, for being so diligent on what and finances. It's uh, it's been uh, it's been great. And I'm sure council can say the same. <laughs> Moving on to the finance director, Ms. Potvin. Well, you ended up taking care of half of my report. Because that's exactly Sorry, I stole what, your thunder there. No, no, that's very efficient, so I'm fine with that. But we, we are wrapping up the year end, and uh, to that end, I will be bringing forward a final amendment to the 2019 appropriation ordinance, and I would consider it housekeeping. Nothing more than that. Just a few tweaks and amendments, but that will be at the next regular meeting. And other than that, 
will report um, a, on an as-needed basis in terms of the budget and, and what our schedule looks like for getting that finalized. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Thank you again, Jennifer, for a, a great job you've been doing so far. Moving on to the engineer, Mr. Rosowski. The uh, Houghton Road Reconstruction State Rally Traffic Signal Project. I talked to the uh, signal contractor today. The latest information he has is that he may, and he emphasizes may, get the polls in mid January sometime. But, so Rich, I noticed don't hold that. Your breath. Rich, I noticed that uh, Walton Hills just put their uh, ground uh, poles up. I mean, they have the the uh, bases in, so we're going to be waiting 25 well, weeks. Wow, yeah. Uh, <laughs> at minimum. The contractor told me he has some other jobs he's still waiting for poles on. And I noticed we have the Solon job at State Route 43. That job's all done except for the poles at the 4391 intersection. Uh, you just can't rely on what the, the, the uh, pole manufacturer tells you on when things are going to come out of the factory. So. The Dollar General final plans, um, both Summit County Soil and Water and myself have completed the final plan reviews. I have sent the comments to developers, engineers. I've talked to um, uh, Lori over there a couple times about the project. Uh, she's hoping to have the comments, uh, my comments, and soil, some, some of the soils finished by next Wednesday when we have our planning commission meeting. I'll be sending over the long term maintenance agreement to her uh, tomorrow. Uh, the owner has to sign that agreement as, uh, as well as we have to sign it too. Um, four easements will be required, additional easements will be required for approval. Originally, I had three, and I, while I was reviewing the plans, I found another one. They sent their final landscaping plans in, and they don't meet our exact landscaping requirements. But the landscaping looks good on the plan. It's just uh, our, our requirements are extremely detailed. Right? Uh, so uh, it's kind of hard to tell somebody to put five evergreens in and, and six big trees in and whatever else. Uh, but. So we'll need a, um, an easement for that. Uh, the MS4 um, Facility Pollution Prevention and Good Housekeeping Annual Reports. Uh, we had the uh, inspection last fall by Summit Soil and Water. And um, every year, uh, a couple months later, they give you a report on what they found. Um, we have some minor stuff we have to do on as far as housekeeping goes. and. Um, I'll talk to Jason about it. There shouldn't be any problem uh, implementing any of these. They come uh, at least once a year to inspect us. So we're in pretty good shape there. Uh, Tinker's Creek Watershed Partners Memorandum of Agreement. We uh, belong to the Tinker's Creek Watershed Partners. Uh, every year uh, we sign up for them. Uh, and they send us a memorandum of agreement, what they're going to do for us and what we do for them and uh, they charge us um, it, all, all the past years it's been $500 I heard they're increasing it to a thousand or at least they wanted to increase it to a thousand for this year I haven't received a bill yet for it but when we do I'll forward it to you we, we always pay those um, and I need uh, some, a form signed by the mayor for that mayor Here's the village representative mayor. And then uh, we have a memorandum of understanding between NERSD, Summit Soil and Water, and the village of Northfield. Uh, this is a standard agreement uh, we've been signing for the past few years. It's uh, pretty much mandatory that we sign this agreement to belong to the consortium of the stormwater program in Summit County. Um, what we have to do is uh, we pay them uh, Summit Soil Water $4,755. And then we get reimbursed $4,755 by NERSD after we pay the check and 
wait a couple months. It's a thing with the state, the way the state reimbursed some of the soil and water, they had to go through this sort of uh, awkward procedure. In the end, it cost us nothing there. And um, they do provide some services for us on this uh, stormwater program. And uh, basically, we have to be a member of it to be with part of the consortium. So those, though, I need signed by two copies by the mayor, by the finance director, saying we have the money, we'll get it back, and by um, the law director on the form. These are the same form we send every year for every year. Um, so, um, that's it. Thank you, Rich. I have a question. Yes. Um, Rich, I was reading an article, and something that stuck out to me, it was, um, it said that Macedonia, it was, it was a, about Macedonia, but it said um, also in the works is to plan to replace the water main along Ledge Road this year with the Cleveland D Division of Water covering the costs. And then the city's planning on repaving the road. Is there going to be an impact to us based on that project besides traffic, besides those kinds of things? And when I, when I read that, I kind of panicked a little because we just had such a big project on Ledge Road, and I thought, I better ask Rich about this. Yeah, what end of what were they talking about? It didn't specify. It did, yeah. yeah. One thing I, we were discussing it, we were thinking that it's got to be from North Bed. Oh, thank you. From North Bedford up to Shepherd. That's the only place I could think it could be. Um, we have a 12-inch uh, water line on our side of the roadway uh, in the North Tree Lawn. There's a 20-inch water line that goes down the center of the road. Uh, from the water tower all the way east goes uh, that goes, ties into the Twinsburg water tower. And there's a 12 inch line um, for part of Ledge Road up there, just a part. Uh, most of that subdivision, the Firestone subdivision, is fed by our water in Northfield. They paid us, uh, I think, $55,000 to tie in our line. Whenever they started building Firestone, they paid the tie to us. Um, there's a section by Spruce Hill that we can't figure out what's happening. The water plan show there's uh, the water department plan show there's no water line there in Macedonia. Uh, we can't figure out where some of those houses are getting fed water from, unless they're being fed from the back at Firestone and up, which would be very unusual. Uh, and that Macedonia didn't know when we were doing the roadway project. But there. We couldn't get any information on that. So I'm assuming this water line is east of ours. Um, so it shouldn't, um, unless they're working down in the Spruce Hill areas, it, it shouldn't affect us. Okay. So, Rich, could you find out from your engineer over there? Yeah, I'll call, I'll call the engineer. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll call. May I have a question for Rich? Yes. Rich, could we get a copy of that MS4 report? All of council, so we know what's on it. Yeah, thank you. Hey, um, excuse me. Yeah, go ahead. Um, Rich, um, there was an issue, uh, and there were no, no, there were supposed to be the Corps of Engineers go down on uh, bottom of Houghton in the backyards over there. Uh, a couple of the residents uh, were uh, talking about trees being undermined by the uh, water flow. It seemed like it was increased. It, it could, can you uh, touch on that a bit? You know, well, uh, they, they said that since that pro they put that new pipe in over there and some other things happened that, that some of the trees have been caving in because uh, in the woods, in the backyards. On which side of the and, creek? And you, you were in touch with yeah. these people, weren't you? In the Corps of Engineers? No, I was not. No, you're, you were in touch with the neighbors. Say you were, there was supposed to be a meeting between the Corps of Engineers, you and the people. No, I was not. I was never informed of a meeting with the Corps of Engineers. Or Are you people. aware of the trees? No, I'm not. In there? Okay, then I'm going to talk to them again tomorrow about this. Yeah, the, the water, um, as a practical matter, the flows in all of our sewers and creeks are higher today than they were 20 years ago or 40 years ago. When you look at uh, the rainfall records, and I get the rainfall records every single day of 
regional school district, and I get the state records every year. Um, storm water, the intensities of storms, this is not only in Greater Cleveland, this is all over the country, in fact, probably all over the world, are increasing. They're, we're getting more peak flow storms. The total amount of rainfall, surprisingly, isn't that much different. They're like we get about 38, 39 inches of uh, rainfall a year in this particular area. It varies quite a bit over northeast Ohio, but we get about 38, 39 inches. Um, but the number of peak events have, has been going up, and um, they most likely are going to go up. And it's if you believe in global warming or not, it's a fact. This thing is happening. Things are getting worse rainfall-wise, and things are getting worse drought-wise. It, it's just, uh, it, it can be a bad situation. Like the storms we designed for now, uh, when I started uh, uh, my career, 4.4 inches in 24 hours was a 100-year storm. It's now 5.3 inches in a 100-year storm. So that's 20% greater. So they're getting bigger, the, the frequencies of the big storms are more or less. Now as far as, um, as a practical matter between before we built the project and after we built the project, there's no difference. In, in fact, we have helped out erosion down there. If you notice, all the rubble we put in the channel down there after the culvert, that slows, that slows that water down coming out of those two 48-inch pipes down there. We're not adding any more water. We didn't add any more water to that project. There's no additional water diverted into that system. Uh, there were sewers going down the road before. We replaced them because they were in bad shape. We put new ones in. Um, but um, why exactly? I haven't seen any trees, and I go down there fairly often. I go to Phil's place. I drive down there. You, you can't drive. You have to walk down in the woods. The, the, well, property, I, I I'm, the, the, the property I'm speaking of is on, uh, it's on the south side of Houghton, and uh, it's, it's on the, uh, it's east of the culvert that was just put in. And, uh, east of the culvert? Yeah. You know, the west? It has to be west. The yeah, west, west. west, west. Yeah, west, west. Yeah, I'm just trying to place it in. Yeah. And uh, the, the two neighbors, they have, they're the ones that have, um, uh, better than two acre partial, so yeah. there's the newer houses. Yes. Yeah, I know where the houses are. I, I have not been. I only been in the backyard one time, and uh, what we're doing a project. I walked back there just to look at something back there. I didn't notice any trees falling down. Back Rich, there. what's our responsibility for maintaining private property and creek embankments that are a natural feature as a village? None. We, we have no responsibility. He, he claimed that something transpired in our way we were arranging our storm that caused the situation for the trees. To I, 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 I can tell you, uh, working on construction projects for 50 years, that anybody who has a, pro uh, a problem before the project started suddenly justifies the problem based on the construction you're doing. No matter what it is, it's it's it's. Uh, it could be a coincidence, it just happened at the same time, yeah. but we didn't add any flow to his system, to that system at all. In fact, we improved um, the flow characteristics in the stream by slowing down the water at the order of 248 inch pipes dump out into the stream. So this is in my ward. They have discussed this with me numerous years past. They've been discussing erosion for the past eight years or six years, however long I've been on council. I've told them every time that we haven't really increased flow, told them about the storm water events increasing in intensity, and that it's essentially an Army Corps issue if anything would be done. If they wanted to do anything, they would need to go through you and the Army Corps. That that's the correct channel to go through to have this taken care of, but officially the village isn't responsible for something on private property, and it's a natural occurring event. The, uh the regional sewer district now, they have a program, I think it started actually last year, where they're putting in uh, monies into community programs, such as stream uh, restoration, um, 
and stream erosion, where you have really serious problems with stream erosion. They're doing that with regional sewer money, not you know, the village like the village of Northville money or City of Macedonia or Walton Hills. They're using their own sewer fund money because uh, that erosion does cause pollution eventually into the Cuyahoga River and Lake Erie. So they're doing in some areas like uh, Big Creek down in Cleveland, um, they're doing some nice sized projects to uh, help alleviate some of the erosion problem. So if, if things get really bad, that's I think that's the place to go to. The, the core, I, I can't see the core putting any money into anything. The core might tell you to fix something, but they're not going to give you any money to do it. Uh, but but the, the regional is the um, actually the one hope of, of fixing something uh, as far as streams go. Yeah, but you get your projects get rated. If they rate projects, and if you rate real high, you get a chance to get funding for it. So, yeah, but we as a village, yeah, you you basically bought the property along the stream. Yours to take care of, basically. We bought that property. No, who? No, whoever owns along the stream. The stream with the stream didn't come in one day and appear. It was there. We bought it. Yeah. No, I think Mr. Hibbs is aware of the situation. Yeah. How much we do about it? We do have repair and setbacks in the, in the community on streams where you can't develop along these streams. Yeah. And that's partly to stop the erosion into the stream, too. But that's too late. That, you know, that hillside is pretty steep down there on the north side. I assume that's where you're talking about the trees starting to fall in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're, we, we're, we're, I, I wouldn't recommend spending any village money. No, I wasn't talking yeah. about spending money. I, he, he told me that he was meeting with the Corps of Engineers and also had notified you, and I was just wondering where we were at with that. He did not know. What's his name? Oh, gosh, man. Uh, he's right where you stop at the stop sign. His house is the blue house. He waved me down. And yeah, you, that's your you know? Yes, 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 that's what I'm speaking. Yeah. I think that's senior. No, he's, he senior, talked. It's, it's the senior and junior. He, he talked to me about our stop sign we put up there years ago on um, uh, Roosevelt. Because his driveway doesn't have the uh, adequate sight distance, so we got him a stop sign. But he's never, he's, and never talked to me about the uh, storm properties in the backyard. So, tell him to give me a call. All right, I'll do that. Mr. Bryan, Law Director. Thank you, Mayor. Um, the only thing I have for this evening is we received correspondence from Rita as to whether. It, we want to join their collection program. We do have a large amount of um, income taxes that are owed um, by residents and former residents. So um, I am going to let them know we want to look into it and get more information. And they'll send us the costs based upon what we have out there. And then we can make a decision at that point as, as to whether it makes financial sense to, to do that. That's all I have there. Thank you, Brad. Moving on to department head, the police chief, John Zolgas. Thank you, Mayor Council. I did email a copy of the report out to everyone. Um, I don't have anything else unless if somebody has any questions. Okay, moving on to Captain Zemek from the fire department. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, no report this evening. <laughs> Service Building Superintendent Mr. Walters will be at our next meeting. Reports of Municipal Boards and Commissions, Mr. Hips of Planning Commission. Planning Commission will meet next Wednesday, 15th at 7.30 here in Council Chambers to discuss the Dollar General final plans um, and the variances that they're requesting. And the agenda is ready to go. It should go out to everyone tomorrow. So. Can we get... Um, the kind of final overall plan emailed to us as well, so that we got that kind of preliminary, uh, like their their cover sheet or their their final landscape plan, so that everybody on the planning commission has it to look at. 
Okay, well, um, I, can't, I can't email it. I just got the architectural size plans. Okay. Can we get a copy of them then for the meeting? Oh, I'll bring them, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. But they're, 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 they're trying to get my comments fixed Address. and give it the, uh, a new set of plans. I told them to give me three three new sets. Right. If they can get you 11 by 17s, that would be great, <coughs> so that everybody yeah, has them. Yeah, I know. But the, the architects, uh, like, if you're an architect, you'd like to get those gigantic right. sets of them. But it's just send it to a different printer and I'll pop 11 by 17. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen, I have a question. I know when we were discussing the plans originally, we were guessing or had an idea of bringing Rita in because so that we could make sure that the overlay and everything was in tune. Mm -hmm. Do we want to bring her in, or do we have? I believe not have Rich to? has interpreted yeah. the, the plan. Yeah, we've looked at it based on okay. the overlay district requirements. Yeah. So. I think okay. we we got a pretty decent handle on it ourselves, Great. and we're we're comfortable with it. Okay. We didn't feel the need to. Great. Thank you. Yeah, the only issue there, they have a fence they have on a their fence plan. around yes. the backyard. It's an eight foot white vinyl fence. Yes. And they have a lot of landscaping. Right. right. It's just they don't have the number, particular number of evergreens versus. Right. There's a whole group of things you have to have. And, uh, it'll, it'll still look pretty nice. The lighting plan, though, they didn't have the photometric lighting plan. They said, oh. supply that to me. We're doing full cutoff fixtures, if I remember. Yeah, so. they have to use full cutoff, but they, they normally, the, the lighting con contractor gives you the photometric plan before you right. order the lights. So. That concludes my report. Recreation Board will meet February 5th at 6.30 p.m. here in Council Chambers. Um, another thing that we need to do is we need to elect someone to be on the um, Cemetery board. Uh, cemetery board meets randomly. There's not really uh, uh, set dates for their uh, meetings. Um, whoever is put on the board, though, they will contact you, and whenever you're, everyone's available to meet, they will meet. So um, they kind of like to meet during the day, though, right? They said they would make an upset. They would make exceptions though to meet in the afternoon. I would yeah. like to be on it, but if it's in during the afternoon with full-time job, that's, yeah. that's um, I can't do it. I mean, I'd be more than happy to do it. That's the council. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> I'll make that motion for the mayor to be on that board. I'll second. A motion by Mr. Voitches, seconded by Ms. Domzowski to have the mayor be the village's representative for 2020 on the Cemetery board. Um, any other questions or discussion? All in favor of the motion? Yes. 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 All opposed? Okay. The motion is adopted. Thank you for that appointment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for volunteering. Okay, report to the standing committees. Uh, Mr. Magistralia of Finance. Do you want to explain to you, you know, what's going to go on with the um, with the committees, I, I know you're in the midst of putting them together. As of right now, for this meeting, I was just going to go ahead with the old committee until you got the new ones together. Uh, I have the new ones together on January 22nd, and uh, other than that, I do not have a report. Uh, standing committees will all be done on the 22nd. We'll all have a copy on your desk um, or in your mailbox, and uh, our, we have a finance meeting uh, on the 22nd at 6:30. Thank you. Okay. Roads. Rosen Public Works, Ms. Tomzalski. Um, not much. Uh, the only thing I have to report is just I have been um, working uh, with Jason on the preliminaries, talking about some things that um, uh, I'd like to try and see and, and you know, some projects that I've, I've heard of and things like that. So um, I'm confident that we're going to come together strong so that way Jennifer doesn't think we're all crazy. Um, but um, so far on our end, I think it's, it's, it's going okay. That concludes my report. Health and welfare, Mr. Chair. 
No report. Wages and working conditions, Mr. Whitehurst. The only thing I have, Mayor, is we've got two uh, legislations up for this evening, but other than that, I have no report. Would you like to do that during a report or wait till legislation? We can wait. Okay. Fire and safety, Ms. Nowak. Uh, yes, I did have a meeting with Chief Solgas on Saturday to go over the preliminary budget as well and working on having in place a five. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> That's good. Uh, that was good timing, too. Timing. Um, working on having a five year plan in place, so we have that going forward. I did speak to um, Chief Buss as well, and he has given me his preliminary, and we will be getting together on that so that we'll be ready for Jennifer as well. And then, as soon as we have the preliminary, then I will get a hold of whoever is on my committee and we'll go ahead and get that ready. Confirm. That's my report. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Nowak. Mr. Hips of Buildings and Grounds. No reports to me. Moving on to legislation, Mr. Bryan. Thank you, Mayor. First, we have ordinance number 2020-01, an emergency ordinance amending section 238-15 of the codified ordinances relating to the position of finance assistant on first reading this evening. I'd like, like to suspend the free reading rule. Second. Motion by Ms. Lomsowski, seconded by Mr. Magistrelli to suspend the three reading rule. All in favor of the motion? Yes. yes. All opposed? Motion for passage. Motion, second. Motion to pass by Mr. Wojcic, seconded by Mr. Hips. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of passage? Yes. yes. All opposed? The ordinance is adopted. Next we have resolution number 2020. 02, an emergency resolution confirming the mayor's appointment with Shannon Conway as finance assistant full time, also on first reading. I'd like to make a motion to skip the three readings. Second. Motion by Mr. Voitches, seconded by Mr. Magistrelli to suspend the three reading rule. All in favor of the motion? Yes. yes. All opposed? Motion for passage. Second. Motion to pass by Mr. Voitches, seconded by Mr. Hips. Um, any discussion? All in favor? Yes. 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 All opposed? Okay. The resolution is adopted, and that is it for the legislation, Mayor. Thank you, Council. Moving on to old business, new business, or announcements. If you want to go. No, go ahead. A, a point that we've been discussing kind of <laughs> over the years is the stack of paper and how much it costs every year versus a PDF on an iPad or a Surface or something. Um, I think it would be fiscally responsible of us to get either a Surface or an iPad for each council member, stop ordering what appears to be the expense of an iPad every year in paper and something more mobile so we're not carrying around the tome of a book. Do we think we can budget for that this year and not order this next year? I know that we've discussed it, and it was something that didn't float well previously, but we're going to put it in the budget. Good. Yay. Yeah. See how nice that was? There you go. It's in right. the minutes. Right. All, <laughs> the, <laughs> all of our council it. emails right on one machine. Yeah. Ordinances just to make things clean. <clears throat> right. And then there is a different package I think we can buy that just has discs mm. and things like that. And electronic versions we probably would need to get a couple paper copies for books to have around for people that don't have computers but that would be a very minimal cost so perfect and then we'll we figure can, it out when we get emails of minutes and everything that come to and we can just pull them up here we won't have to print a bunch of stuff we cut our costs on printing wonderful Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> At this time, there is no executive set. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you have something? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mayor, I do. I'll have... jump in the gun. I apologize. <laughs> sorry. I, I do have three little things, uh, if you guys wouldn't mind. Uh, if you guys have driven down Houghton Road, you guys can see how beautiful that road is now that it's done. Uh, one thing I miss on that road and would like to see on that road would be the sideline mark on the road. Uh, I sometimes follow cars that are way off to the edge of the road and they're not towards the center of the road, but 
I think that would also make that road really pop. So I, I don't know, it's an idea, I just I would like you guys to take a look at that the next time you drive down the road. Did we ever have a sideline on that? No. Or was uh, that just the gutter that marked it? Yeah, that, that's probably uh, gutter. It was the gutter. Yeah. The, that road has a curb, and you normally don't put sidelines on uh, curb roads. Okay. If you didn't have a curb, yeah, you, you could edge it. Okay. Well, you could probably still edge it with a curb, but I just you wanted to bring that up to it, take a look at that. Not, it's just not practical. I think that the gutter line on the upper half was kind of that designator previously, since it's all back in with the same yeah, concrete. I'm not sure. And Houghton is quite wide. There's a lot of lane yeah. to, to <coughs> use. Oh, it's mostly. Yeah, that's why you know, I figured you know we could do that because sometimes, like I said, when I come up and down it, I see cars all the way to the side. So just something to think about. Um, the second thing, which also has to do with Houghton Road, um, the fence that is right there at the intersection that is leaning over really, really, really bad, the white picket fence there, is that our fence or is that... Private property. You talking about it at Borderman? Yeah. That's yeah. that's uh, Miss. No, well, electric. Remember, Miss. It's electric. No. Electric. Yeah, electric. electric. It's electric. Corner of electric and Houghton on the so, oh, east side. Electric. Southeast. Yeah, there's a no, kind of into the woods. Fence. That's that's not our fence. No. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and the last thing I have. Um, I've been making a bunch of phone calls and checking into some things, and I sent council a bunch of pictures. Sorry about all the pictures. No, don't, um, don't be sorry. I did print out one to bring in and show everybody in case they want to see it larger. Uh, I've been talking with the City of Parma Schools, and they have a school that they have closed. They're getting ready to tear it down, and they have a quite extensive playground there. Uh, they've made a great offer to us for it. Uh, but we would have to move it, and I would like to get everyone to go out there and take a look at that and see what you think. Um, Alan had mentioned maybe we could paint it a different color, we could add to it. I mean, it's great ideas, but I think it might save us a lot of money, something we probably should evaluate. So if you guys want to see it. I think we all agree on that. Yeah. Well, if anybody wants to see it, here's the picture from outside of it. So... Gary, did you share that with Jason? I talked to Jason Excellent. about it, and he says, by all means, we should definitely investigate it. Thank you. I do have one thing uh, that I forgot to bring up in my report. Uh, Chief Bus wanted to know if at our next meeting on the 22nd, that at 7 o'clock, that we could get together. I know we have the, the budget, I mean the finance at 6.30, so that um, the architects can come and review the drawings so that he can plan on putting the bids out. Does that work with everybody for the 22nd at 7 o'clock so I can confirm with Jason? And the other, that reminds me of another issue. Did we have the other Professor Allen tentatively scheduled for the 22nd to the... He's probably the, forgotten that because he didn't put it in his phone, but if we'd like him... Yeah, maybe if we can move him to a... Yeah, I'll, I'll make contact. Okay, thank you. Sorry we're out, because I just didn't want him showing up. Uh, just going and so so will we have enough time with 6.30 and 7 we'll o'clock? time with the finance. Will we have enough time with the architect? Well, Jason is saying 7 o'clock. Okay. So he is probably saying that what they'll be providing we'll be able to take care of within that half hour. Mr. Hips, any comment on that? With the architect, with the provider? The time, time limit. I think we're fine. Okay. Okay. So It'll please. more depend on our questions, but we've already seen the preliminary plans. I think we should be good. All right, so do we want to schedule a fire and safety meeting then for 7 o'clock uh, on the 22nd? Okay. Um, Ms. Noack's making that motion. Is there a second? Second. Second, second by Mr. Magistrelli. All in favor? Yes. 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 Okay. 7 o'clock on January 22nd. Does anyone else have any old business, new business, or announcements? Hearing none, moving on. There's no executive session needed tonight. Do I hear an adjournment? I'd like to make a motion for adjournment. Second. Motion to adjourn made by Ms. Nemsowski, seconded by Ms. Nowak. All in favor of the motion? Yes. yes. All opposed? Adjourned at 8.09.
Thank you everyone for coming tonight.